Today I was going to show everyone how I made a bushing out of some HDPE plastic. Uh, it's part of an old cutting board that I used in another project. I'm making the bushing out of um, HDPE plastic. Um, what it actually was was a cutting board and I cut it up into a couple of small pieces that you can see here and I heated the pieces um, with a, um, I believe it's called an embossing heat gun. It's basically just a small heat gun, uh, but it gets very hot. Um, and this really took a long time to get the pieces hot enough to where they would stick together. After I got this project completed, I went back and tried to heat the uh, pieces of HDPE up a little faster using a small butane torch and that worked a lot better. All I did was heat the two sides up and then I put a weight on it and it melts the plastic together and it bonds it together into a solid piece. And for for this project it really didn't matter how squared up it was or anything like that because I saw this method that Don Brandt used um, to turn some pieces on a metal lathe where he put the bolt put a bolt through what he was working on and tighten the bolt down in in the jaws with the head of the nut or the head of the bolt behind the jaws and um, tighten it down in the chuck and then tighten the nut down on the front side of the bolt and and was able to turn um, turn what he was working on that way so I thought I just I thought that was a really neat way of doing it so I decided to do that on this project and uh, it really worked out well Once I had it in the chuck tightened up and everything, I just went ahead and tightened it up with a wrench uh, to where it wouldn't spin very easily. Um, HDPE is pretty slick, so it's a good bushing material. Uh, it also made it a little difficult to get it tight enough to where it wouldn't turn on its own. But uh, once I did get it tightened down, I was able to start turning it on the lathe and um, just took slow light passes at first because it was basically two blocks. Uh, once I got it whittled down a little bit, I could speed everything up and start making little deeper cuts, uh, spinning a little faster also. So as you can see here, the HDP it material, it really machines easily. Um, it's a little messy. It gets stuff everywhere. Um, but it it just cuts so easy and you can cut fairly deep cuts my metal lathe is a pretty inexpensive one it's a seven by ten and it's an it's an older one but it'll it'll really cut this material very easily here you can see a lot of the shavings that uh, the hdp creates kind of kind of messy but you know it's it's a it's actually a fun material to work with because it does turn so easily and you can cut it to rough shapes with regular woodworking tools uh, I've cut it on table saws band saws um, you could cut it really quickly with a with a hand saw even if you wanted to it cuts really easily it cuts like butter almost and it really machines well it comes out very clean and um, nice looking in my opinion So what I was doing here was I was turning down one end uh, to where I could get it into a, a piece of metal uh, that came off of an old crutch. Uh, and that's what I wanted the bushing to fit inside of. Um, that aluminum tubing from the crutch is pretty heavy duty stuff. The crutches were weight, uh, rated at uh, 300 pounds. So the, it's pretty sturdy aluminum tubing and I'm making a I'm making this bushing for a project that I hopefully will be able to get uploaded soon um, I haven't completed it yet and once I get done with it I'm going to try to get that project up uh, but this bushing was really going to be at the heart 
of that project it's believe it or not for such a simple part it's the it's a major it's a major piece to the project i'm working on um here i'm just facing off the end all i did was i i backed the bolt out some it was snug enough in there to where i could kind of thread it through there and it held well enough backed off to where i could face the end of it um once i got done facing that end of it i, I just turned it around and started working on the other side one nice thing also about working with this type of plastic is you don't have to be super careful with how you're setting your tooling up and um, it just cuts so easily it can cut you can use the same cutter to do facing and and uh, turning down long ways and uh, even just changing the angle of it you know you can do a little bit of the uh, deburring or chamfering of of the holes and the outside edges and things like that. Uh, it doesn't take much at all effort wise to cut into this material, but it's really solid and it's, it's really strong. Uh, it just cuts really easily. I'd say it even cuts easier than wood um, as far as machining it goes and things like that. There's no tear out or there's no grain to worry about. It just really, it's a fun material to work with. And if you haven't done it before, you might check out a lot of videos out there about uh, recycling it. I've done that, it works really well. Uh, you can heat it up and compress it into slugs that you can make other things out of, or even uh, square stock if you, if you wanna do that. Um, I actually, on this project, I ran out of I ran out of battery, so I didn't get the whole process. But here you can just see I flipped it around and I'm facing the the, um, the other side now. And I actually turned this end down quite a bit and I did not get that footage. I, I thought it was still recording. I looked up and my battery was dead. And that's just one of those things that happens, I guess, sometimes, but um, Next time I should be a little more careful about that, I suppose. And that bolt that's in the bushing there, that's what I want to be able to turn inside the bushing. Maybe not that particular bolt, but one like it. Um, and it turns real freely. HDP is so slick. Um, it's really low friction. Uh, but there's more friction than you'd have with a ball bearing, which is actually what I wanted. I wanted something that I could turn easily, but I didn't want it to free spin in there either, uh, like you would get with a ball bearing. Um, I wanted just enough friction to keep it from turning unless I want it to turn, and then I can turn it very easily with my fingers. And I turned this bushing to where it was a really tight fit on the aluminum tubing there and I actually had to hammer it in there, which worked out great. I don't have to worry about it coming out. And there will also be um, some pins that go in to the aluminum tubing and into the HDPE. It will pivot on those pins, which without telling exactly what the project is, um, that's that's the basic idea behind this part that I'm making here. The aluminum is there just to add some reinforcement because it will be bearing some weight and I tend to overbuild things. I probably could have got away without the aluminum tubing over it, but um, I know for sure it if I know for sure I won't have any trouble with it with the aluminum tubing on it. So I went ahead and did that. I just wanted to get this video out there. When I'm done with the project, I will upload it too. But I just kind of thought that this was interesting enough to have its own little video. Thanks for watching.